If it's in your newsfeed, it's in the feed with Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. It's a cat adoption story that you gotta love, but it starts with a crazy, crazy twist. Uh, a cat with street cred. The Chihuahua Mexico State Police captured a hairless kitty they believe was the pet of a gang leader. The cat was covered in tattoos that were synonymous with a local street gang. And they decided, you know what? We captured the cat. We're going to give the cat a good home. Sent to the United States. That is been so adopted. sad. I know, right? Oh, a, my god! Tattooed kitty. Wow. Kitty's braver than me. I don't have any tattoos. Yeah, gosh. I got a snowman last night in my dream. <laughs> Loser. Do you think the snowman will be there for the next dream? I hope not. It wasn't even good. <laughs> <laughs> Just like it's like an eight, but with an extra circle. Yeah, got in a scarf. That's weak. <laughs> uh, wow, America. Gonna love the food on our uh, fast food menus. There was one uh, back in the day, the KFC Double Down Chicken Sandwich. It has been gone for a decade. It's coming back. Wow. Monday, March 6th, for four weeks, the viral sandwich makes its return. And this is during the TikTok era where I think it might be around for longer mm -hmm. than that. Uh, it features bacon, mayo, and cheese. Oh. <laughs> Minus the mayo, mm -hmm. you'd be okay you with it. You do the rest. Yeah. <laughs> and instead of bread, it uses two fried pieces of chicken as the bun. Very sort keto of, of kind it. Kind of keto. Yeah, there we go. Very so, keto minus the the breading on the chicken. But there we go. It's okay. Well, I, can, can I get, I'm sorry, this disgustingly slovenly like sort of sandwich. Can I get that grilled? Uh, <laughs> but if you could get it grilled though, two mm -hmm. grilled, I mean, that'd be great. Yeah. Keto, keto be, on the go. It would be keto. Uh, one woman in England didn't like her ex-love anymore, so she channeled her inner goodwill hunting to get back at him. She called her former Tinder lover and said, hope you like apples because she just took some apples from the farm she was on and shoved them in the tailpipe of his car. <laughs> she was fined $120. <laughs> wow. Well. She was also pregnant with the child of another man. Uh, doesn't, she got doesn't over it. surprise me. <laughs> it seems like she really got doesn't over it. Doesn't surprise me. Finally, uh, when you hear the man, uh, a story of a man like running into a burning building, you're like, wow, that guy was a real hero. Hero. Uh, that is not Wyatt Guy. Uh, guy. Wyatt Guy of Florida got warnings from code enforcement. His house was a mess. So he was trying to clean it up, and there in Florida, I guess they like to do little burn pits. Mm -hmm. So they make a little fire in the front yard. <laughs> Part of code, code enforcement probably mm -hmm. should be like, don't have a burn pit in the front yard. Right. But he set it up in the front yard. We're starting to burn things, but the fire spread to the house, and the police showed up, and Wyatt Guy has a warrant for his arrest. <laughs> So when left with the option, get arrested or burn to death, he thought about it <laughs> and he went inside the burning house <laughs> and the house got fully engulfed. The direct quote from the deputy, the only option he had was either stay in the home and possibly burn or come out. I figure he'd have to come out at some point and he did. Wow. Well, <laughs> so, we decisions, go. decisions. <laughs> <It's> like, hmm. <laughs> I really don't want to get caught by the popos, but fire's really hot. So, <laughs> yeah. uh...